The aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford is a gigantic step closer to completion. The carrier completed its third and final shock trial yesterday, withstanding the detonation of a 40,000 pound explosive device. Mike Gooding tells us what this means for the Ford's future. More than four years after its commissioning, the USS Gerald R. Ford has passed another critical test. Sunday, off the east coast of Florida, the aircraft carrier successfully conducted its third full ship shock trial, absorbing and withstanding what is said to have been an environmentally safe 40,000 pound underwater explosive blast designed to prove the ship's capability to sustain operations in a simulated combat environment using live ordnance. It, it almost brought tears to my eyes to see how well this crew performed uh, in this live fire test event. The shock trials did mean that the Ford had to destage all work related to the troubled advanced weapons elevator system. Nine of 11 lifts are now delivered and reportedly fully functioning. But two of the lower stage elevators, four and six, are still a work in progress and are being groomed for completion by the end of 2021. There's certainly been a, a lag here or disruption period, but, but we, uh, we've planned for that. Uh, we will be done with them this uh, calendar year is what our plan is. The Ford will return to Newport News shipbuilding for six months to assess any damage sustained during the explosions and to continue modernization and maintenance work. Then, after workups, the plan is for the ship's first overseas deployment to take place sometime in 2022. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.